What's up, Hope Kids? It's Mr. Elijah here, and it's time for another Tuesday Talk. And we don't have a theme song. I don't know why I did that. So good to be able to talk to you guys today about this amazing story that we heard this past Sunday. And if you don't remember, it's okay. I'm going to give a quick little recap about what it was. So here it is. So we learned about this man named Cornelius, and Cornelius and his family loved God. They loved him so much, and they even generously helped out a lot of people that in need. And it was awesome. This was a good family. Well, one day, there was this angel that appeared to Cornelius and told him to go and find Peter. Now, we know who Peter is. Peter was a follower of Jesus. He loved Jesus so much. And so Cornelius sent some men to go and find Peter. And then when we meet up with Peter in the story, Peter is on the roof of his house and he's hungry and God sends him this vision. And this vision, guys, is a little wacky. It's a little crazy. And just to give you a quick little image of what it was, the vision was this big sheet being lowered in front of Peter. And on that sheet was all sorts of animals, animals of on four legs, on birds, reptiles, just a lot of animals. And God was giving Peter this vision for a reason, right? And that reason was is to show Peter that God loves everyone, right? And so Peter, then the men that were sent to go find Peter, Peter goes with them back to Cornelius' house. And here's why this is a big part of the story. See, Cornelius was not a Jewish person. Peter was a Jewish person. And in that day, it was illegal for Jewish people and non-Jewish people to be together, to hang out and to talk to each other. Well, Peter didn't care because he knew that God was taking him there for a reason. And that reason was big. You see, God wanted Peter to realize that the story of Jesus was not meant for just the Jewish people. It was meant for everyone, every single person, because Every person on this world was made by God. God loves what he had made. He made every single one of us. He made us different. He made us unique. And that makes us special in our own ways. How we look, how we think, what we like, what we don't like. They're, we're all so different and it's beautiful. You know, some people like pineapple on their pizza. Some people don't like pineapple on their pizza. You know, I like vanilla ice cream. My wife likes chocolate ice cream. We're very different, but it's awesome because in our differences, it shows us how unique and how special we are. And God loves everyone. He loves you, he loves your friends, your families, and those around you. And as Jesus followers, we are called to love everyone. It's like the verse John 3, 16. You guys know that verse? It's a very popular verse. Even people that don't know Jesus know the verse John 3, 16. It says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, so that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. Now let's focus on that first part of the verse. For God so loved the world. When it says the world, it means the people that live in it. it means you. It means your friends and those around you. That means everyone on this earth. So God loves everyone. So that means Jesus is not just for one type of people, one group of people. Jesus is for everyone. He loves everyone and he wants to have a relationship with everyone. And so, if you are a Jesus follower, you are called to love everyone. And I have a challenge for you, Hope Kid, right? I have a challenge for you. So in your life, if you can think back to school, when we were in classes and you know, we were actually going to school, do you remember that person that maybe wasn't nice to everyone else or that was a little different than everyone else that you know, people didn't really hang out with them. You know, there's those unique people that weren't really liked. Do you, can you think of someone like that? Maybe someone that you don't agree with. Well, those people 
even if you don't agree with them or maybe they weren't nice to you, are equally loved by God. And here's my challenge to you, is to think of that person, whoever it may be, and I want you to pray for them. It's not gonna be easy. It's not gonna be easy. It's gonna be pretty hard because it's hard to pray for someone that you know maybe even mean to you. But God loves them and they need Jesus. Just like you need Jesus and I need Jesus. We all need Jesus and they need him too. So I encourage you to pray for that person in your life. So pray for that person. Kids, it has been awesome talking to you and I can't wait for see you guys again. I'm looking forward to Summerfest, which is coming up. So get ready for it. And I will see you next time. Bye. Bam, 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 bam.